fourth major expansion to Blizzard's World of Warcraft, Miss of Pandaria introduces a new class, the first since the Death Knight in Wrath of the Lich King. With Miss, you can play as a monk, either as the new Pandaren race, or as any other race except for the Goblin and Worgen. Monks can be built as healers, where they use mana as a resource, or as tanks and damage dealers, where they use a combination of energy and key points to punch and kick enemies. If you do happen to choose to play as one of these portly pandas, you'll start off on a floating turtle around the new zone of Pandaria. There you'll quest through level 1 through 10 content, and are eventually given the choice to join either Horde or Alliance. After that, it'll be a while until you return to the new continent, as Pandaria's 7 zones are meant to level you up from 85 to the new cap of 90. Pandaria is a bright and colorful place full of bamboo forests and finely detailed temples and serpents soaring through the sky. It's home to numerous new factions that you'll be fighting against and working with to gain favor, from the insect-like Mantid to the monkey-like Hosen, and Blizzard claims to have added much more detail and variety into the character models so it doesn't feel like you're fighting the exact same enemy over and over. Blizzard is building Pandaria's dungeons, like the Storm Stout Brewery, out in the open and to scale in order to make them feel more like real places integrated into the world. You'll receive quests to explore parts of them while questing solo, teasing the eventual full group encounters, which in the brewery's case involves drunken monkeys and explosive bunnies. Some old dungeons have been adjusted as well, like Sholomance and Scarlet Monastery receiving major overhauls. Along with plenty of opportunities to quest and kill to earn new items, Blizzard is adding in a number of new modes of play. The scenario system is essentially a group questing mechanic that transports you and others to an instanced version of the world and presents unique challenges. You don't necessarily need a tank healer DPS group makeup to win, so it sounds as though this is kind of a half step between dungeon challenges and standard questing. A challenge system adds competitive aspects to the dungeon runs. It's basically a time attack mode, where your clear time is stacked up against others on a leaderboard, which could legitimize your bragging or obliterate your sense of self-worth. Ranking well in challenges rewards you with cosmetic armor upgrades, which can be mixed into WoW's transmogrification system so you can conveniently show off your dungeon skills without having to make any statistical sacrifices. Though entirely optional, the included pet battle system also seems like it could really catch on. It basically works like Pokemon, where you can challenge other players to pet duels. You assemble a team of three active pets and can level up each pet, unlock skills, swap them around in combat, and try to collect them all. This is supposed to be a just-for-fun system, so there aren't any rewards for doing well aside from a boosted ego. But if it becomes really popular, who knows how Blizzard might develop it further. More significant changes are on the way as well, including dramatically altered talent system that will likely be patched into WoW slightly ahead of Mists of Pandaria. There's still no release date for Mists of Pandaria yet, but as with Blizzard's other expansions, expect an extensive beta test leading up to launch. For more on World of Warcraft, keep checking back with IGN.